Here we go. When you try to fly, don't hit a pie. Hey everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, and Droid.com, and I'm here with a new application just released today. Um, it was in beta for a little while, but it's officially out of beta and in the Android market as of today. It is TweetDeck, and uh, what TweetDeck is is a uh, Twitter client uh, mainly, uh, but it's also a Facebook client, a um, Google Buzz client and a Foursquare client where you can add each of your accounts and uh, keep track of them all in one uh, uh, customized location, one all in one application. Um, this is the screen that will show up when you first install uh, TweetDeck. Uh, this is where you can add all your accounts. I already have my accounts set up. Um, if you have TweetDeck on your computer, you can sign in up here and it will automatically um, bring all your accounts up or you can do it individually like I did because I don't have it on my computer. Um, and then after you sign in all your accounts um, you'll come to here. This is your home, your main home screen and uh, this is a, t a timeline of your Twitter feed um, and also your news feed from Facebook. It puts it all into one. Now you can have multiple Twitter accounts um, with TweetDeck but with this uh, main timeline it just shows your main account of Twitter and your uh, Facebook and your Google Buzz and your um, Foursquare but it only shows the one Twitter now these other panels here you can customize for your other uh, Twitter account and your Facebook and, and so on so here I have uh, my Facebook here I have my direct messages from the the main Twitter account. Here I have my um, at replies for my or my mentions, I should say, for my you know my second Twitter account. And here is my direct messages for my sec second Twitter account. So to add these panels is super easy. Um, let's go here to the little plus symbol right there. That I just clicked on. Let me go back. I don't know if it was in the screen. That plus symbol right there and um, you can add um, home timeline list for instance you can add basically anything you want any of these um, to your to your panels there so I'm going to add a home timeline and it's going to pull all the information here's the timeline for this Twitter account add column it's just that easy now you see it added it to the the end uh, panel here after direct messages and that little chug you saw just then, uh, that's really the first chug I've seen, uh, or you know, lag I've seen. Um, it might be because it's still updating the the uh, feed I just added. Um, it's been running super smooth. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever. This this app truly is uh, pretty amazing, in, in my opinion. Um, you can also on every um, column they call them. I called them panels earlier, but column every column you can adjust. Uh, the column settings. So for this column here, you can have it update. You know, every I'm gonna have this update every three minutes because this is my main, my main um, column here. You can have it notify you. Uh, have the light come on. You know, the LED light up here on top. You can have a make a sound or just vibrate. Um, and you can also have it include or not include your Facebook. Okay. Um, so that adjusted that column settings. You can also adjust, you know, each individual column. You can adjust, you know, for instance, if I want my mentions to be updated more regularly or less, re you know, less often, I should say, we'll go ahead and move it to 30 minutes and take the sound off and, uh, you know, the light off. Or you could just remove the column altogether with the uh, remove button right there. Um, so um, it's a it's a really nice app. It's really well put together. Um, and let's see here if you can when you go ahead and let me go back here. When you go ahead and push this button right here, that is your uh, your button to send a message out. So I'm going to send a message here. 
you know, reviewing reviewing tweet deck there you go and um, and then up here you guys see all your different um, accounts so let's say I don't want to do it on that one just click on it and I want to do it on my me myself Android account so I clicked on that that came down to show that's the one I'm gonna use And it's sent, and it's just that easy. And uh, you know everything. Everything seems to work well, real well. This right here, this uh, little compass button, will take you to a map where you can see tweets that are going on around you. Um, that one was the one to add a column. And this right here is your, um, you know, your friends. You can add all friends, and it'll, you know, get a gather a list up. Might take a little while. All right. So, uh, let's see here. What else is there? Uh, also in, uh, let's go here to the Facebook. Um, you can click on, you can click on uh, each post, and it'll give you a list of other options. So here's all, here's the conversation going on about this post uh, for my friend on Facebook. You can like it. You can um, comment on it. A little comment box shows up, or you can uh, share it, copy the URL, translate. So it's a uh, you know, like I said, even just for Facebook, it's a pretty full featured uh, application. Um, has me considering whether or not I want to uh, keep my Facebook application, uh, Facebook for Android, because this one you know works pretty well. And um, let's see if I can find one with a picture. Um, there was one earlier that I had seen that had a picture and it just um, put it right in the uh, right in the feed and it, it looked really well um, well I'm not gonna be able to find it but uh, basically what it was was um, it was a tweet and underneath here in this area here the picture just showed up automatically which uh, you know was pretty sweet you don't have to click on it and go to you know a website to view it it was all uh, in line like that. It was really nice. Um, so anyway, this is TweetDeck. It is uh, available in the Android market for free. Um, also, with TweetDeck, it comes with three widgets. Um, this is a bigger widget. This is called, uh, I think this is called a column. This is called, a, uh, I forget what they're all called, but it comes with three different sizes. This is the larger size, the smaller size, and also a... Uh, size up here that you can just compose a uh, tweet or a Facebook message or whatever and it gives you an option on which one you want to choose so uh, that's that and on these um, on this one here for instance you click on it and it'll show up right there on the home screen and you can go back and choose a different you know account or whatever um, or you can open it up in the column from right here and all and this one up here these are you know separate separate widgets but this widget up here on top um, doesn't give you that option to open it right on the widget like this you know you open it right here on the widget this one here will just open it directly to the application itself so you know a couple different options uh, pretty nice to see three different widget sizes um, and all the features in the application. It's a really, real, really well done application, and uh, glad to see it's available in our Android market, uh, and it's free. So go check it out, uh, and be sure to check out me myself Android.com uh, for more news and uh, more app reviews like this. And be sure to like us on Facebook, and also be sure to check out um, the Droidlife.com. Um, guys doing some good stuff over there and actually he's the one who suggested I did this review and um, you can uh, always see my videos either on my website me myself android.com on YouTube and also some of my uh, videos are going to be on the droidlife.com uh, working with him as a partnership and uh, putting some of my videos on his site as well so be sure to check us out wherever you choose we'll see you next time
down 